this is a squatting variation that will just help to keep the hips a little bit more tucked as you squat up and down and change levels. A lot of times when people squat, they'll reach their hips way back and really uh, almost overextend the low back in order to change levels. This exercise is designed just to help keep the hips uh, in a little bit more of a tucked position. So when I set up, I'm going to back all the way up to the front of the bench. What this does is it brings the back of my knees in contact with the bench initially. And what I tell clients is to uh, keep the uh, soft hip and knee throughout the movement. That's going to make tucking the hips a little bit easier and keep the legs on tension the whole time. So I have a soft bend in my hip and knee. From here, I'm going to curl my hips underneath me and gently touch the top of the table here. In this position, I'm going to squat straight up and down, keeping my hips tucked and my heels firmly engaged on the floor. Go nice and slow so I have time to think about foot pressure, where my hips are, all those different qualities of the movement. To make this harder, when you feel like you can control down to this depth really well, an easy progression is to just make the seat a little lower. So I'll go ahead and get rid of that plate. And I'll try to go down to the level of the bench. And that's it. Um, look, looks simple, uh, but as you, uh, if you're not used to squatting in this manner, it can be uh, deceptively difficult. Uh, the muscles you'll want to feel during this exercise, you'll certainly feel the, your quads, the front of your thighs working, but with that hip tuck, we're looking for some more ab and hamstring uh, back of the thigh muscle activity.